the the big one of the bigger reports coming out today is the student walkout in Utah of middle schoolers protesting furries. <laughs> you read that right, furries, because children who are not in high school are dressing up as furries in school to the point that children are complaining of litter boxes in the bathroom. And I know, oh uh, I don't remember God. if you mentioned it on our chat uh, not too long ago, but they, they were saying they were having this issue and now it's become a national issue. Yeah, I, it was you retro that brought that up about the uh, the the furries thing. I think it was you. I don't remember who who brought it up. I think it was but, retro. Yeah, it, I think it was retro. But anyway, here here's here's the news report coming out of there. I I want you to, to take a listen, and we can all uh, cringe in horror as the state of our country is. We are not. We are not a serious people. In Payson, where a group of about 75 protesters showed up to Nebo Middle School today. They say it's an issue over students who call themselves furries. But how much of that discontent is fueled by rumor? Our Sarah Murphy asked that question. She's oh, here man. with what she found out. Sarah, what's this all about? All right, Brian. Well, the term furry, it refers to someone interested in animals with human qualities. Now, they dress up like this as a cartoon version of... And I want you to let I want to let you know that these suits are not cheap to buy. They are expensive. They are not something you just go on Amazon and go, you know what? I want to be a furry today and buy those. You have to get those specifically made, specially tailored, and they're not cheap. I wouldn't know. You would know. That's weird. I I I know a vast number of things from the internet, and that's one of them of people saying, hey, those things aren't cheap. And yeah. kids getting them, it means that the parents are enabling the behavior in the first place. That's why I bring it up is because the parents are enabling the behavior. It's, it's not a cheap expense. We're talking about thousands of dollars on a costume. Wasn't there like, or was that a rumor? There was this furry party and his brother and sister, you know, they were, it was like a sex mm -hmm. party. And they were all in these costumes and his brother and sister ended up mm -hmm. doing it. And the dude got his sister pregnant. Yeah. That's some yeah, weird not, stuff. That's it not, it's not cool. Yeah, it's not cool. Yeah, so let's continue. I just wanted to, I wanted to give you guys that info. Of an animal. Now, we've learned there have been reports at Nebo Middle School that students are getting mistreated over this topic. There was some kids dressed up as animals, and I heard that another kid got bit by one of them. There's a lot of speculation. Make sure to get your rabies shot. Wow, dude. Sorry, I had to make the joke. Surrounding the protest that happened at Nebo Middle School Wednesday morning. <laughs> Nearly 75 students and parents showed up facing the school, saying they're unhappy with how administration is handling reports of harassment. Okay. You guys cannot record me without my permission! This is video a Nebo Middle School student took last week. Parents say there's an issue between some students and others who call themselves furries or people who enjoy dressing up as cartoonish animals. Back when I went to school, you know, you couldn't dress that way. You couldn't do certain things. And I think it kind of needs to go back a little bit. Like, I know kids need their own personalities, but it's ridiculous when kids are dressing like animals and licking and biting people. I just don't think that's okay. <laughs> but the Nebo School District tells us it's not that extreme. Seth it's not happening. Everything that's been said is it's just... Is an, is an outlier. Everything's fine. Oh, Leave us because God. we can protect your children, right? Because we just had an entire episode yesterday on the Savage Patriots of how you should trust the government with your children. And if you haven't seen that episode, you need to go see to understand why this is stupid and that all of this is nonsense in the first place. And, and this is why we need to get rid of the Department of Education because the Department of Education can lay a smack down on this if they really want to. Because the yeah. Department of Education would be like, hey, we don't we send you guys funding? Yeah, we're going to stop your funding if you continue this furry stuff. But the, yeah. the Department of Education doesn't care. That's why we need to get rid of them. And then we, you know, keep everything local so the local governments can control what's going on at these schools. But this is just the dumbing down of our country, man. It's, it's making my whole right side of my brain fucking twitch. You know, it's it, watching this because it's dumbing down the future of our country. So look at these kids now, and you saw how that little girl lashed out, just emotional, mm -hmm. all this. And I get it. She's a kid. And I understand that. But they're going to be adults one day. 
and, and they if still this isn't like stop that. now, if this isn't stopped, this is just going to continue. It's going to be continued behavior all the way through her adolescence, all the way into adulthood. And then next thing you know, she's going to be running for president in a freaking skunk suit. <laughs> president skunk. President skunky skunk. Like, what the heck is going on with this? We uh, Pepe de Skunk came out today and said that iran needs to be bummed we need a we need need a big one we we need something dude Uh, we need a reset hey i'm i'm ready just reset a just Just hit the reset button just just hit the reset button because this is ridiculous and other countries are laughing at us man we are not a serious people yeah Uh, other countries laugh and mock us they make movies about us they joke about us because the parents are just as the parents are weak. They are weak. Yeah. I oh man, if my son was still in school, I wish he would. Oh man, no. Okay. Okay. All right, let's continue before Michael gets too heated. Sorensen says no one was scratching or biting anyone, and that there are a lot of un. Okay, sorry. Nobody was being scratched or bit, but in the same vein, there's plenty of administrators have said that sexual assault wasn't happening when it was. So I just want to yeah. point that out there. I, I believe them is about as far as I could throw them. True rumors going around. It actually is not something that's been occurring. In fact, a lot of the information that's been put out there is completely incorrect and inaccurate. And so we're still trying to get on top of that. <laughs> Thank you. This is Strudel, a member of the furry fandom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Your name is Strudel? Okay. Okay. Your, your name is Strudel. I mean, we're laughing at these kids. I get it. They're kids, young minds. It could be a phase. At least we could say this about these kids. This could be a phase. Maybe they'll grow out of it. But actually, oh, uh, they don't grow out of it. It's because you have adults. Who do the same that are enabling the behavior yeah Yeah. like i mean look at how everything else where things used to be classified as mental health issues are now being classified as just being normal that's just normal Mm. i'm not gonna say what those ones are but you know what they are you know which ones we're talking about yeah so like we're gonna enable this behavior and then i laugh at it because it's so ridiculous like this this person you're going to okay you're going to a school dressed like this Eventually, they grow up thinking this is okay because they go to a, a, a public institution dressed like this, and then they're going to say, my right as an individual to dress like this at a job, and you must call me strudel at work, is the most insane thing you could possibly possibly think. Like This is, this is how they think, that this is going to be one of those things where this is what we're going to be doing, is that I'm going to have to work with a furry, and his name is Strudel, and he's my manager, Manager Strudel is the guy responsible for the TPS reports. And that's what it's going to come down to. I mean, if you go to any job application now or anything you fill out online that has some application portion, they always ask you, what do you identify as? Furry's not on there yet. Furry will will be on there. It'll be other Ken. That's what what it'll be. It's like, are you a furry or other Ken? And then they'll just put like whatever there is. And my name is Sprinkle Sunshine Butt Fart McPoopy Hole. Can we just give him? Anyone's <laughs> called me that. Can we? Can we? Can we just give him like? I don't know the Mojave. They can. Just they can just take they, just take the whole Mojave <laughs> and they can just have Burning Man every single day. You know, yeah. Lord of the Flies, and they can just go out there and just live their best life. And then they'll wake God. up one day as an adult, living like this, realizing that they threw their life away because of some identity that made no sense. We are destroying an entire generation of children. Oh yeah with all this nonsense and it is not going to get better before like it, it's not, it's going to get worse before a lot before it even gets better and even then i don't even know if it gets better just because of how we've seen how these kids are acting now and they get they get older just like remember when they're saying in 2016 when like uh all the dei issues that people were complaining about of the teen uh, like the teenagers in college they eventually grow up and become adults who then cause issue in the workplace mm-hmm Right, which is what we're dealing with now. So eventually, these people will grow up, get older, believing this is okay to do, and go into the workplace. I just want—I just want to point that out—that it eventually grows up. 
like all things in the world, they eventually get older. Oh my God. Though they've been a furry for over a decade, they have their own opinions. It's crazy that it's escalated to this point where these kids are being so distracting to their peers that their peers want to stage a walkout. So to have, you know, the next generation kind of muddy our name and um, not represent it very well, it is kind of disappointing. Strudel believes there should be some limits. Continue doing things you like, continue dressing up, um, continue making art, but maybe let's keep it outside of school hours. As for the okay, school- Okay, so they just found a random furry to do this interview. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, uh, no, they didn't find a random furry. Yeah, they, I'm glad you're being sarcastic because I was about to say, <laughs> but yeah. Well, they, Soren they found a random furry. No, that's a hired actor that they said, put on his suit and yeah. answer some questions. Come on, we can see Pat. There wasn't no random furry just standing out there, man. Yeah, I, I guess so. But it, it, it seemed like at first that this was a person from the school, but apparently it wasn't. But either way, it's it's a person that an it's adult. Yeah, an adult doing this thing. I was like, like, man, you've been doing this for a decade. It's like you're a kid. Maybe it's because the person was small in stature. It was more believable. But either way. Princeton says they have one main goal. We want every student to feel safe when they come to school, and we want students to get along. In fact, we want adults to get along. Okay, so the district says they've worked with some students whose dress and appearance they say might be disruptive to the school environment. They say they do invite parents to talk with administration to learn more about how they're handling the situation. Brian, back to you. Okay. All right, here, here's, here, here's what I have to say about that school. All those kids wearing those furry suits, so say, okay, allow it, do it. But don't don't have a kid who comes in there with a Make America Great shirt on, that has a MAGA shirt on, that wears an American flag. Not saying this school does it, but you've seen it in all these schools. Show up, have your kid, if you're against this furry stuff at this school, have your kid wear some type of Make America Great shirt on. If they kick them out yeah. of the school saying it's disrupting the school, you know what to do. Yeah. And here's part of the protest that was outside of these kids. People, not the animals. We, the 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 people, not the animals. We now, I mean, I know this is this is all like stuff Man, that the, I love the, the parents help to organize. So we, 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 nobody's having any illusion about this. But it's yeah. still the point that they had to go out of their school and protest because of the treatment that they were receiving and then getting no help from the administration in the first place. And these insane. are seventh graders. Yeah. With those signs, pre-made signs. Yeah. We're talking like 10 to 12 year olds. Oh, 10 year olds. Yeah. I guess, you know, yeah. The parents helped them. It's all staged. Everything is right. It's just, it just goes to that point that we're not a serious people. No, we're just not. It's, and, it's so insane to me. And you know, with stuff like this, man, you got to think bestiality will be made legal if this continues because the furries you got to think about it the furries will say well i'm an animal i identify as an animal because i'm a furry so i should be mm -hmm. allowed to sleep with fido over there if i really wanted to well he is right you know he identifies as an animal we ought to let him sleep with an animal and that's what it's going to come down to that man sickening <laughs> I'm sure some of them were there because they want to be out of class. I mean, I I remember what it was like to be a kid. We didn't want to be in class, so any excuse is is good. We never protested though. Yeah, I I don't remember any like sort of walkouts or protests no. or any of those things that you see today. Like that that's the most 